The southeast is in storm recovery mode after two deadly weeks and just uh, two deadly hurricanes in just two weeks. A new study shows that ultra warm water in the Gulf of Mexico supercharged Helene and human caused climate change, of course, likely heated up that water. A lot to discuss with our next guest, Bill Nye, the science guy, is also part of the Too Hot Not to Vote campaign and to engage and educate voters on climate change and clean energy. Uh, Bill, I, I mean, as a news guy, I guess we have to couch things and say likely to do this and likely to do. I mean, but how with how much certainty can we say, yes, climate change is heating up the Gulf and supercharging these hurricanes? Well, there's no question that climate change is heating up the Gulf. That's uh, that's proven. The question is, does an individual storm a result of climate change? Well, in this case, uh, yes, because uh, it's the heat the heat that's in the water that got there from the heat that's held in the atmosphere that was held in on account of carbon dioxide principally and also other greenhouse gases uh, like methane, uh, natural gas. And so uh, this is an extraordinary storm that was um, uh, 300 nautical miles wide. This is uh, a remarkable uh, thing. And, and I just heard a previous segment uh, everybody, the water's going to continue to rise because... Mm. Yeah, why is that? Uh, the rain, well, the rain fell in a very, very large area. It's like a giant funnel. And so it's draining uh, toward, the, toward the sea, and it takes several days. So the sheriff was there reminding people that the water's still going to go up. Counterintuitive. It stopped raining, but the water level's still going to rise. Mm. <laughs> That's yeah. science. And which, so which is scary. Uh, it's yeah, scary, it, yeah. I mean, because the water is so destructive. I'm not telling any, you guys who are living through it, but the water, uh, you know, we think uh, water is what gives us life, is what sustains us. That's true. But too much of, a, yeah. of this good thing is deadly. And, you know, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, he's been pushing back on the climate's role in these stronger storms. Uh, let's take a listen to that and talk about it. Yeah, I just think people should put this in perspective there. They try to, to take different things that happen with tropical weather and act like it's something. There's nothing new under the sun. Um, you know, this is something that the state has dealt with for its entire history. Uh, and it's something that we'll continue to be to deal with. I think what's changed is we've got 23 million people. Yeah, Bill, what do you what do you have to say to that? I mean, I, I, we, I mean, we could just show our viewers uh, and they can look this up on their own that I mean, the, the frequency of these powerful hurricanes has picked up over the last couple of decades. Well, absolutely. The other thing is, yeah. objectively, the water in the Gulf is warmer than it's ever been. And so this is what the, the word everybody throws around is fuels hurricanes. But this is the end. This provides the energy that allows the cool air, relatively cool air to squeeze the warm air up, which starts these enormous storms uh, becoming wider and wider. And then the spin of the earth and gravity of the earth causes the storm to spin. And that's what makes these extraordinary uh, uh, seawalls, uh, extraordinary uh, waves of water, uh, storm surges come ashore on the, on the uh, southeast part of, the, of this storm and then pull water out of the uh, Tampa Bay on the uh, northwestern side. And yeah. this is very well understood. And this is a result of satellite imagery and ground-based assets that enable us to monitor these things. And right. so everybody is it's very serious. It's going to get more and more serious. And of course, we, as citizens of the U.S., will work to help people who are affected by this storm in Florida, North Carolina, and so on. And yeah. our hearts go out to you. But we've got to face this problem. And so everybody, yeah. this is what I'm saying right now. What can you do about climate change if you're not there, if you're anywhere, is vote. Vote with yeah. the climate in mind. <sighs> and, Bill, I do want to ask you about, uh, and, and, you know, you don't want to give crazy things too much oxygen, but you also have to knock things down down that aren't true when they're get, gaining steam. And Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, she is standing by these uh, crazy claims that the government can control the weather, which we know is not uh, true. But as a scientist, can you help us understand why that is false? Um, and I know uh, it's, it's it just sounds ridiculous for me e e to even ask the question, yeah. but help us out. 
Well, it's false because of the size of it. The, the amount of energy in a storm like Milton is more than uh, the, the, every military in the world put together at the same time. It's just it's, the expression is physically impossible. And this is intuitive, you know, as, as Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain, everybody talks about the weather, nobody does anything about it. But we have a chance to do something about it. And what's happened is here in the United States, we have created these gerrymandered, gerrymandered congressional districts where uh, people who do not win the popular vote, have fewer votes, are able to get elected. And by promulgating these extraordinary uh, this misinformation, they're able to yeah. get reelected, and it plays on people's grievances and frustrations. And uh, I understand that, but we got to turn this around. It's going to take quite a while, but we've got to turn it around. It's in everybody's best interest. And I remind people that when we're talking about disasters like this and the millions of people affected, the United yeah. States is the world's third most populous country. We have a third of a billion people here. And so we have to work together to help each other out. This sounds intuitive, yeah. but it's it's and, a and real during thing. The break, you know, dur and during the break, during the break, control the weather. The government does not control. Dur I have to go, but during the break, you and I were talking about how you know we have ties to the D.C. area and everything. And what I know from growing up is that there are a lot of wonderful people who work in the government, and they just would not do things like that to harm their fellow Americans. But anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. Go to a break, Bill. <laughs> we'll stick to the science. You Thanks. Know what well, people talk about, speaking of science, people talk about what makes you happy, what makes you live a long life. And yeah. it's when you're contributing, when you're helping right. people out, so-called um, yeah. uh, uh, egalitarian and so on. And so people yeah. who work in the government, civil servants, what the other side refers to as the deep state, they do yeah. it not for the money, they do it because it gives them satisfaction to make That's the world it. better. All right, back. Exactly. Everybody, Thanks. please vote. If you know young people, please yeah. get out the vote. Let's do this. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks, Bill. Thanks a lot.